What's up guys, Graham here, and it is physician time, which I'm not a very good physician, but it's pretty easy to play for the most part, so I enjoy playing it, and of course Rogue is just so good, I mean, uh, if it wasn't for my love for being a warrior, I would definitely be a Rogue full time, because it's just all around good, and pretty much easy to play as well First with super efficiency I mean the physician heals are just great and really easy to play for the most part uh, of course there is quite a bit of skill that can be applied to it as well to make you even better of a physician but if you want to play it easy mode you can do that as well and really do well at it and it applies for most other stuff with uh, rogue as well to where there's pretty much an easy mode on almost every spec for the most part. Um, I'm sure there are some specs that uh, are more difficult and stuff, but it's not the main specs. So as, if you play Physician, Marksman, even uh, Nightblade, I, I, I have a guide on a very easy Nightblade build to play. So yeah, exactly. if you want to play any of that stuff, it's pretty easy to have an easy mode to it so to say and be very efficient in every one of them but of course there is like I said there are skilled yeah. ways of playing it as well that will uh, provide a better outcome but yeah f physician is very fun to play and very simple so it's mainly just spamming a builder finisher uh, you can even put your cleanses in your spam macro if you wanted to. Um, of course, it's better to put it on a separate button. but uh, And the heals are very strong. They, the finishers and stuff are just so good. And has a lot of good options. You can even go with an AoE version of the physician builds. Uh, pairing it up with like tactician and stuff like that. Or else you can stick to the single target, pure physician heals for the most part. And that works out really well. Uh, I like playing physician B not only because it's easy and efficient, but also because it is, uh, it's just fun to play. It's, it's one of those, uh, one of those healing specs that you don't have to worry about running out of mana or, uh, your energy or anything like that. And you basically just run around and heal as much as you want. There is nothing tethering you back. Like, take for instance, whenever you're playing like a, a Sentinel Cleric or something like that. You're always running out of mana with that and having to stop heals in order to get your mana back. And yeah, you don't have that with Physicians. And it just makes it a lot, a lot more fun to play. Um... There isn't too much to worry about for the most part. You've got a lot of cooldowns in order to survive and stuff like that. Which doesn't mean that I always survive. I'm, I'm pretty much guaranteed to die at least once during any war front with my physician. But uh, I tend to think of that as because I'm trying to do really high heals. And uh, I'm blowing my cooldowns on other people and not saving them for myself. And... Um, also because of the gear issue as in I don't have really good gear so it's it's pretty easy for me to get nuked down like watch here I'll probably get killed here especially me getting really gutsy here and trying to save our guy that's trying to cap this uh, last cannon here he, he got too aggressive way too aggressive and I tried to save his butt and it looks like I'm about to die yep yeah, so that was me going out there trying to save somebody that probably shouldn't have been saved. But, yeah, it's the healer in me, I guess. But anytime you run healing in Warfronts, it's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to be a huge benefit to your team. Uh, any kind of healing is super appreciated, usually. And uh, there was actually this other video that I was just watching a minute ago that I was thinking about posting. And uh, it just, it was proof that the more heals you have, the more likely you're, you're going to win, it seems. Even if you're severely lacking on the DPS, as long as you can keep everybody alive, it's, there's very little chance that you're going to, you're going to lose the match, it seems. 
uh, the Warfront that I was watching in particular that I was thinking about posting was uh, we were fighting against a team that it had healers on the opposite side that one of them had over 6 million in heals and another had over 4 million in heals. And it was, we just couldn't kill them. Uh, there was one guy that had kills, but he was, I guarantee he was picking people off on the sides and stuff that weren't, uh, you know, in the main teams and getting the heals. So, yeah, I was running Reaver during that match too. And it just, you couldn't bring anybody down. There was just so much healing going on. And the enemies were just flooded with heals, and they won very easily as well. So, yeah. Healing wins war fronts for the most part. I remember reading uh, Daglar say that the perfect, uh, perfect healer ratio for a team is basically one healer per group, as in one out of five people are healers. And that's their statistics to show that that is the best healer ratio to win a match that that is what people have had the best success with is right at that amount of healers but i've yet to see a warfront that was flooded with healers that you know they didn't do amazingly well with extra healing um i have seen plenty that you know where we don't have healers that we just get smashed uh, because we're pouring all this dps onto them but yet they they're not dying, so all they have to do is weather the storm, and all of a sudden we're getting nickel and dime down with damage. It's just no winning, so to say. And so that makes it to where if you want to play healer in any warfront, you know you're going to be a huge benefit, uh, even if you're extra heals. Uh, it just doesn't seem to hinder the team too much. There, of course, is the perfect ratio, as Daglar said, but if you add more healers you're not hindering your team very much trust me uh, you would be much more of a hindrance going with a tank spec or you know even going dps whenever you have too little heals you know extra healing does not seem to be a bad thing so yeah physician is uh very fun for me to fill that role in because Especially whenever I don't have much for gear and I'm not really getting the kills too much because of the gear issue. It feels good to go in as a healer sometimes. But that can set you up for disaster as well because it's it's one of those things that people tend to focus healers. So if you don't have very good gear, you're going to die if they focus you very much. And as you can see so far in this warfront, I haven't been focused much. Uh, the only time that I even really took any damage was whenever I, I was trying to save the guy that was running out in the middle of all the enemies. And I ended up dying for it, but that was my choice, I guess. But, let's see, as you can see, I, I'm like pouring all my cooldowns on other people, which, you know, is usually recommended. But the moment that I try to save myself, I'm not going to have the cooldowns in order to save myself, so... That's kind of how I play. I try to keep everybody else alive. And that's why whenever you see a healing video from me, I'm almost always going to eat a death. Because all of my cooldowns are always blown on other people. I, I'm not the type of healer that just saves them for myself. Unless I'm just getting focused down all the time. Like, as in, everywhere I go, it's obvious they're just targeting me. But... Killing spree. Yeah, as you can see, we're really controlling this match. They... They're, they're getting torn up, and uh, we got a lot of healing here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, at least four healers just in this immediate spot. One of our healers are dead, is dead and doesn't seem to be releasing and coming back to life, but it doesn't seem like we need them. We have just got the heals pouring in, and this is the beginning of the end for our teams usually. Whenever you got your whole team there, and they're just trickling down one at a time trying to stop you guys from capping. Yeah, you're going to cap. And they're not going to be able to stop you. It's just a matter of time now. Yeah, see. Uh, there you go. I knew that was going to end pretty fast there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as usual, my name is Grim. And let's see how good I did on heals. 
Uh, almost a million heels. All right, guys, take care. My name is Grim. I'll see you next time.